Just a few days, downtown Phoenix will take center stage in the world of tech. Semicon West, the largest semiconductor trade show in North America, is coming to Arizona for the first time. And this is a major victory for our state's growing tech industry. But the spotlight comes as the federal government remains in a shutdown, sending mixed signals to foreign companies investing billions of dollars in our state. 12 News journalist Kyle Simchuk reports. For the first time in its 50-year history, Semicon West is leaving San Francisco and coming to Phoenix. And this is the most important industry right now. It's expected to draw more than 35,000 people with more than 1,500 exhibits inside the Phoenix Convention Center. When you hear about AI, when you hear about all the technology advances, that all runs through semiconductors. So the fact that it's coming to Arizona reflects that we are now the semiconductor hub of the country, and that's a big deal. It's a huge deal. Danny Seiden, president and CEO of the Arizona Chamber of Commerce, says that that recognition didn't happen overnight. It really reflects what we've been doing in our state in terms of advanced tech manufacturing, you know, preparing our workforce. You have ASU with the largest engineering class in the country right now. There's a lot of things Arizona is doing right, and it's attracting this kind of stuff. But while Arizona is putting its best foot forward, Seiden says the government shutdown is casting a shadow. Yeah, it's embarrassing, of course, this happening at the same time as government shutdown. And that does impact our ability to get our manufacturers going. We need permitting. We need uh, the federal government to be up and running, really just doing their job. So it's that part's frustrating. Hopefully it'll be resolved soon. Seiden expects the shutdown will get brought up during the three-day conference. Companies investing billions of dollars in the state want stability and reliability. But here's the thing. We've been through this before. We've had shutdowns in the past. And we'll get this done and companies are still going to come here and Arizona is going to continue to be the lead of that. The convention runs October 7th through 9th and is expected to generate $10 million for the downtown economy. Semicon West will return to Phoenix in 2027 and 29, cementing the Valley's role in the future of microelectronics. Arizona has a great story to tell. We're, more, we're, we're beyond the Grand Canyon these days. we got a lot to talk about. In Phoenix, Kyle Simchuk, 12 News. All right, Kyle, thanks. So